Hello guys, this will be a very short video and uh, I'm just going to give a few numbers to you. And uh, these numbers will be about ultra efficient loudspeakers. So if you have an ultra efficient loudspeaker, then what do you think? How much power do you need to drive them when you are listening to quiet music? And uh, I, I show you guys an example of that. So this loudspeaker is approximately 102 dBs per watt meter efficient. That, that's considered an ultra efficient loudspeaker. And uh, actually this is a true 102 dB efficient loudspeaker because often when products are marketed, we often see even a plus 10 dB up marking in the efficiency. So, if you just see a number stuck on a loudspeaker, uh, if it's not this big size, it doesn't look like a 300 liter refrigerator, then uh, it's not ultra efficient. It might be still pretty decent in efficiency, but it's not in this league yet. However, when you have something that's in, uh, in this size range, like, like you have a voice of the theater loudspeaker or, or a similar one, then what will be your power requirements when you just listen to quiet music? And, and some would say that, oh, you just need a few watts. Okay, now, now let me just burst that bubble now. Actually, uh, what you need is, is way less than that. You don't even need one watt. And uh, you don't even need one thousandth of a watt. Uh, what I am uh, listening what I am uh, uh, experiencing, so what I did, I was listening to these two guys, Jean-Michel Jarre concerts in China, I, I posted about that last week, but today I was listening to uh, Dorian, this Dorian sampler. It has some beautiful music on it, it has tremendous variety, and what I did is I put a meter on the uh, output jacks, I mean the speaker connectors of the uh, amplifier and measure the output voltage and uh, and and using ohm's law and uh, the loudspeakers having 16 ohm impedance i can calculate how much power they uh, they consume and how much power the amplifier needs to put out and uh, what i noticed that even at the highest uh, peak levels the output was under 160 micro watts not milliwatts micro watts so the and, and micro means one millionth of a watt that is one million times less than one watt and uh, when i'm listening to the quieter bits it's just a few millionth of a watt that's required for that and at the peaks, I'm I'm still uh, just in in the hundred uh, microwatt range. So so if this amplifier was only one milliwatt output, I would still have quite a bit of headroom. So so that's the thing that you can think about: how much power do you need for an ultra efficient loudspeaker? Wow, one watt is already one, I would say 10,000 times more than you need for quiet listening. One more curiosity is that for the Jean Michel Jarre uh, concert in China, this is quite a bit compressed recording, and this Dorian sampler, the Dorian recordings are not compressed in comparison, they are a really, they have really nice dynamic range, and uh, the Dorian. Uh, I am listening at a much quieter level now than I did to the concert in China and here I have the peaks going up to 150 or so microwatt. I, I just told you guys 160 because that's a number I never reached. So, so it's under 160 uh, and I have a certain volume and now with the Jean-Michel Jarre concert I measured 50 microwatts peak and it was much louder than the Dorian and that's because of the compression so all of the signal was riding high and it was kind of like an average volume listening to it and now this is a quiet volume 
but despite its quietness, there are tremendous dynamic peaks. But even with those dynamic peaks, I'm under one seventh of a milliwatt. So basically, it's about uh, 10,000 times less than uh, what a Darling amplifier uh, is, is capable to put out. So if you have a Darling amplifier and you just listen to music quietly, you still have a thousand times more power reserve than what you need for a very dynamic recording for a quiet listening session. So thank you guys for tuning in. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.